Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Let's Play Hearts Fire for Kaiser Redux. As Russia, let's continue on for the last off. So, we have conquered the Balkans. Ukraine has joined our faction. Overall, everything is looking very, very good. Let's liberate Montenegro. Montenegro did not get liberated. Okay. Give this to Bulgaria. Kosovo, give that to you. So, Montenegro. I see here that you are not independent. Which you were supposed to be. I pressed the make you independent button, but apparently that didn't actually work. If I ch what is it? Is it change owner? Or is it set owner? Set owner? Set? Okay, we need to... Te Does this work? I I've never actually gotten this really work ever. Set owner... Serbia. So the state ID of 1269. 1269 Serbia. Are you sure it's invalid? It says 1269 right up there. Province ID. Okay, what if I select the state and then that owner of Serbia? Okay, that works. I mean, if Serbia wants to be like a dick like this, or Montenegro, I should say, and not want to be released, that's their problem. There we go. Also, oh, then turn off TD bug. Fantastic. So there you go, Serbia. You get a little bit of land. Greece, on the other hand, gets to uh, gets to get killed another time. I don't think they'll join uh, any faction. Like, what the hell were they, like? What were they expecting? Legitimately, what were they? What did they think was going to happen here? Okay, we're also at war with uh, Poland. You would not accept. You're allied towards them. Are you sure about that? If I call another country into this war, they'll, you, they might, um... You're allied towards the socialist. Again, are you, are you sure? I think the reason why is because they think that they're still in our faction somehow. So you know what? Just set owner. If, if they're going to be like this, then screw it. They're not even they're not even gonna join the war against um They're not even gonna join the war against Poland because of this. Hey look, we won the war against Greece. Whoa, how did the hell did that happen? There we go, they've capitulated. Who could have seen that one coming? Okay, can you just uh There we go, fate of Greece. Fine, you're gonna be a kingdom then. If you if you're gonna be a little piece of shit as a republic, you gotta be a kingdom now, okay? No longer will we allow a um Oh yeah, but I still need you involved. Oh my that's a lot of Russian uh, a lot of Polish units, okay. Call everyone into this war. I mean it says Montenegro does exist, it just didn't actually give them the territory. What if we set that owner, is it Mon? No, Mongolia is probably Mon. That's probably Mongolia, right? Yes, Montenegro, MNG. Oh, there we go, Montenegro. Okay, there we go. Congratulations, Montenegro. I think you also supposed to have this state as well. Apparently, it's a colony state. It doesn't... Do I have to set core? Okay, you might just never technically be in charge of this territory, okay? It's a little strange, but, you know... It is what it is. I can't do anything about it. There you go. You should have uncapitulated yourself. Call you into the war. Call everybody into the war. All of you join the war. Thank you. And then all of you will invade as aggressively as you possibly can. Push away into Poland. They absolutely deserve it. My entire air force, which honestly is not very big. Should move over here. And fly over Warsaw. 
I'm guessing Middle Africa is now collapsing. No. Wait, did, did Goring declare himself independent? Wait, what the hell is going on here? Herman von Goring. He's he's gone like evil. I mean, okay, he's gone more evil. I guess I should say. An annexation. I think you're you're negative five percent, but it seems like you you are slowly kind of collapsing in on yourself. Leopoldville. Eastland declared war. Leopoldville. Okay, I mean, the, the, they collapse. I have 82 divisions here. Okay. Six divisions. Bring half of you into this. You 10. Actually, no, 10 we can probably split into this. And then two of you go into this army. Fantastic. The rest of you join up with this field marshal. We'll assign other generals we have. We'll probably send one of you over to... Um... Yeah, send one of you over to here. I don't like it, but kind of have to make you the dark blue army. You guys will assign yourself over to this front. You guys will assign yourself to the southern part of... Uh, White Ruthenia here. Looks good to me. Bring all of our forces in. I do see that you do have a cost ability against Crimea. If you were to invade, I would, uh, I would, I would help you out. Let's just put it that way. We get synthetic oil as well as 1940 infantry weapons. I think Austria is slowly starting to collapse, which I'm happy to see. You don't have to worry about any of you. Mini prom is done. Let's follow it up with... Military production, 10% factory output, I'm very happy to see. I would I would love an extra 10% factory output. How did you know? How did how did you know? That's what I that's what I was here for. That's what I was looking for. Okay, we got better rifles. We will absolutely use that to switch you out. Upgrade whatever guns we can first and foremost. Also, we are not able to push our way right now through Poland. So let's instead draw, let's see, can you, you can't attack here. I want to see what process has the most. I think we just need to push one province. We just need to cross this river. And once this river is crossed, oh, the world's our oyster at that point. But until that moment, you just got to wait a, wait a second. Uh, we'll bring you over to Pink Army. Seems fine. The rest of you guys are looking good. Looking good. I mean, like, if you just look at the Commonwealth of Independent Nations. Like, that's all, that's that's pretty powerful. That, that's looking pretty nice. Like, that's almost like what you'd expect an almost post the Second Vilkrieg Russian alliance to look like. Okay, 90%. We just need to... Push our way in, okay? Nothing too crazy. Just push your way in through a single province. Because once you're in, we're in. Can you just capitulate? That's okay. Build more. Oh, we're only building one of each plane. And now, now that we have so many guns, like how many? We have 96,000 in storage. We do need more artillery. Uh, reinforcements, of course, we drop priority. But one more on artillery, like so. Syria joined the war against the Ottomans. Everybody's going to war with the Ottoman Empire these days. How are the rest of you guys holding out? I mean, fine. I, I think they're doing okay for themselves. What is their defense? A lot. It, it's very good. They are taking a small penalty. 20, 26 percent actually. That's actually a pretty big penalty. But of course, our supplies are absolute dog shit. Do I have trucks? I do. Okay. This should help their supply situation at least a little bit. This does not help. No, no. Actually, there's a supply help right here. Put you to maximum. We'll set you back down to minimum for the time being. 
How how has that affected your your points here? Forty nine percent. I guess it's less bad than it was. It's technically not as bad. Keep the pressure on all of these fronts. Just make sure they cannot reinforce. 94%. Please, please die. Okay, the units are slowly starting to get pushed out, which is which is what we want to see. 95%. Come on. Come on, Clem. Horrible news. A full train of Russian citizens have been massacred by bandits on the Mongolian section of Trans-Siberian Railroad. Our people are shocked by the barbarianism and are demanding immediate response for the government. This could be our uh, opportunity to reassert control over the far eastern section of the railroad. Uh, but we must tread carefully. Baron von Ergen Sturberg is being called by Mongols and Hunch may not take kindly to interference. Gain Chlor on Tuva. We can go to war over it. We can gain some cores. Do I go to war over Mongolia? How many units does Mongolia have? 11 to 34. Um, I have. I brought another army over here, right? Blue army. Deep blue. Deep blue. Leader orders. Go right here, and then bring another front to the Mongolian war. Then war it is. Hunter political power. You're going to immediately push your way through. Rise of the French Social Republic. Okay. Criminal autocrats. Okay. For a second, I thought they... I thought... Also, what? Liberia! You, you madman! Holy shit! Okay. The French Social Republic. What is... What tree even is that? Um... Do, 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 do. Okay. Peace conferences... Wait, what, what peace conference? What war would be happening right now that require a peace conference event? Oh, right, the uh, the class of Middle Africa. Okay. Yeah, so you guys have completely exploded. That is fine by me. Nigerian Free State is existing. Bye bye, Middle Africa. We're not going to call any of our allies into the war against Mongolia. I just don't think it's necessary. But actually, if I can take over Mongolia, that actually leads up to this area, which could be beneficial to me. Drink your line like this. I mean, it's a weird war. I mean, all of, the, all of our wars so far have been a bit, a little bit weird. Okay, do another push. Thing like ninety four percent. Like we're so close to making this work. One thirty five combat with. If everybody wants to join the war, sure, but it's not like they really need to be at war with uh, Mongolia. But the fact is, actually, probably I prefer if they actually weren't at war with Mongolia. That would probably benefit me more. So 99% against you. More units are on their way up north. Mongolia, of course, is fighting basically everybody. I'm hoping they don't win, because if they win, it means I've lost, which would be a bit embarrassing. Go up straight up to partial mobilization. Apparently cannot do war support, uh, war economy quite yet, but it's because no other country is actually stronger than us. Armored spearhead, organization loss while moving. 10% flat attack, absolutely. Yeah, the Philippines have been annexed by the Japanese. Nothing super surprising there. 95, 96. Come on, you're you're so close. You're like you're right there. Do I want to do another force attack? I think actually I do. Because does be if we can kill Poland, that's gonna make the war against Germany so 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 much easier.
But we need to kill, we need to actually kill Poland. Which is easier said than done. Yeah, I'm going troops here again. They have only they have nine to forty, which is not actually that many. Okay, second Sino-Japanese War. Keep the pressure on. You know what? I think actually both these armies force attack. I'm sure Poland has already killed a lot of my units. Thirty-six thousand already. How many have I killed of theirs? 17,000? Okay, not... Not really the numbers I want to see, to be quite honest. Resource efficiency, gain plus 10%. 5% stability for the economic efficiency act. Let's get that going. And they give me army offense. I just want to attack. Everything else is for nerds. 6.5, reinforcement coming in. Please just collapse already. Okay, okay, wait, 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 wait. Maybe, maybe 98? Come on, come on, 90. You're so... There we go. There, that's what we've been wanting to see. Okay, now you guys can stop attacking. I mean, I know I can't make you stop attacking because you're on force attack. Oh, you guys can actually stop. Okay, keep the pressure on. Do not... I don't want anybody else to actually help me out. 5% recruit regulation, absolutely. It also reduces combat width for all of our infantry. Which does kind of fuck up all the math that I'm kind of used to. But Maxi, I'm not even too sure what's even considered good. When will you be down there? Eventually. Okay, that works out for me. You guys are already low on supplies. Were you a supply hub? You were. Excellent. Excellent. And now, you're not technically in circle because you do have the territory here, but... Let's just say it's still looking good for us. How many men have we lost in war? 50,000. It's 50,000 troops now, but again, in the long run, in the long run, this makes perfect sense. Okay, Costa Rica's collapsed. Uh, okay, it's 39. 39, 39, 39. Let's do atomic research. Why not? We have five research slots. I think that's enough for a nuclear uh, weapons program. Cavalry units are going to move their way all the way around as so. Want to push away up towards Warsaw. We want to take loads when we can. And all of this is very, very nice for us. Ace generation. Sounds good. You push away up to Lodz. I'm going to have you move your way straight up north. Go to the border of Germany. We'll be looking very, very happy with that. 70%. You guys are doing a completely okay job. Eventually, you guys will win. It really is just a matter of when. You know what? Don't even attack them. It makes no difference for us if I actually uh, kill those units or not. I mean, like, maybe it does. I mean, 12? We probably don't need 24 divisions guarding this uh, stack. What we have now should be completely adequate. Move these units up north. We got Ukrainian units helping us out, which is very, very nice. I want you to move your way over to Urga, capital of Mongolia. Move you north. One division here. I'm assuming getting volunteers. You're actually not getting volunteers from anybody. Huh. I find that very, very interesting. I would I would have expected that you would have gotten some volunteers from somebody at least. Ninety-three percent bring you up north. Half of you move over here, you guys move up north, you move like this. And yeah, we just gotta take loads, we gotta take Warsaw, and that really should be good for us. I don't even think we need any anything more than that, really. Okay, you t some of you guys move south, and some of you guys continue to march up north. 
Because Poland would be a fine addition. We can now crush the Reichs back. I'm going to say no to that for now. I want the International to make the first move. Okay, they are last standing with some of their units. Which does make sense, but it will just result in their unit actually just taking HP damage instead of organizational damage. Which I think for us works. Which is good for us. Okay, bring these units down as so... We've now broken German ciphers. Fantastic. Um, let's break... I was going to say Austrian ciphers. Austria is kind of looking like they're kind of shit right now. Let's actually break your ciphers. 200 days. And you know what? I'll even take a uh, machine encrypted... This we're already researching something. Cancel this. Absolutely. Get this instead. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, we've units pushing our way into Warsaw now. We have a couple of cities over here, which is fine. We can maybe want to take them if we don't. Because Lowe's worth 20, Warsaw is worth 40. Okay. Okay. I mean, the Czechs are doing very, very well. Slovenia is doing very, very well. Illyria is doing very, very well. If theoretically they could join my faction. Just, just hypothetically speaking. It would be very, very nice for us. I'm gonna have you just march your way along the entirety of the border with the Socialist Republic. Mongolian force over here. Honestly, all that does is weaken them. Because you gotta remember, they are also at War of my clique in the south. And my clique's actually pushing her way up into Mongolia, which is fantastic. I'm I'm more than willing to split uh, up... Um, split up uh, but Mongolia between the three of us. Absolutely have no qualms with that. Okay, so you're about halfway dead. Demand Corellia Tech. Yeah, can't do any of these things here. Deal with the Empire of Japan is just a declaration of war. Which I don't think we want to do. Okay, we can also integrate more and more territory. Fantastic. I don't think there's anything else that we want to uh, to do at the moment. You guys are now surrounded. Uh, we probably do want a unit to stay in loads, but for now you should be okay, theoretically. How are you guys doing down here? Still completed and circled, which is nice. Please go to loads, make sure the Polish don't take the city back. Okay, a Senate election. Does the Senate like me now? 53? I mean, we have more support. It's more than we had before, so it still works out in our favor, I guess. And keep up the pressure. How much are you worth? Four? You are worth one? You're worth one and you're worth. So that's two victory points there. Stability 4%. Not bad. Let's do industry in the Urals. Who the hell? Wait, who's this? German Bohemia? <gasps> okay. So the Sudetenland has risen up, I guess, against the uh, Bavarians. Or Bohemians, I should say. 90% against you. Again, then after we kill this province, we would then want to move our way straight into war. No, bring everybody into Warsaw, please. Everyone who can be in Warsaw, please bring them to Warsaw. You're finding excellent. And I think, I think the, um, I think Austria will give up soon. Or at least they should. I'm hoping that they do. Because, I mean, if Austria doesn't even exist by the time the Second Victory happens, I mean, Germany just literally does, does not stand a chance. There'd just be not. There we go. There'd just be nothing that they could do. But Poland has fallen. Absolutely fantastic news. Purple army, you're going to be on this side of the border. Pink army, you're going to be on or on the border, on this side of the river, I should say. You'll be up here. Oh, Germany! I, I really do not think it's going to be going well for you uh, once the war actually breaks out. And we still have like two months to prepare. 
We have 90,000 rifles. You know what? Cancel these units. Which should give us back a lot of artillery pieces. Fantastic. But well, one of you should. Yes, these guys here. They're basically ass. But they're cannon fodder, and that's really what I want. Just like one row, 126 divisions. Kaiser Redux, they don't have a division cap, so you might as well just train as much as you possibly can. But I do think, for at least right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching. My name is Anthony. If you enjoyed, thumbs up. Not to wait, some down. You want to see where to subscribe, and goodbye.